Hello, my viewers. I'm very happy to welcome you to today's discussion that will be on KuCoin P2P trading. In today's episode, it will be centered on KuCoin P2P trading. In the last episode, we discussed how to do your verification, step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do your verification. Have you done your verification? I need your comment on the comment section. So if you have done your verification, now you're good to go because you can only um, participate in doing KuCoin P2P trading when you are already verified. So the next thing to do is for you to buy USDT, okay? So you're watching the, this is the dashboard of uh, KuCoin. I hope you have yours. You can open your own KuCoin, all right? So you use the USDT to buy any asset of your choice, like KCS, that's KuCoin coin. So the act of buying this USDT, is called trading the act of buying this usdt is called trading so now you've understood what trading is then the next question will be what is p2p p2p it simply means peer to peer buying from one peer a peer buying from another peer so we can simply put it like this that you are buying USDT assets from one peer and these authorized peers that you can buy USDT from in KuCoin are called merchants. Okay? So I am trying to break these words in a very simplified way so that all you, my lovely viewers, will grab the meaning immediately as I am showing you step by step on how you can do your KuCoin P2P trading, okay? Now, I also want you to take note that all these transactions of P2P trading must happen inside KuCoin dashboard. You must have an account with KuCoin and these transactions will happen in KuCoin account. Do not, I repeat, do not listen to anyone that will tell you to do the transaction on a Telegram group or anywhere else. KuCoin will not be held responsible if anything goes wrong. KuCoin will not in any way be responsible for that. So whatever transaction you want to do, you are doing it in KuCoin account. That is why, first of all, you got registered and after your registration, you got verified by KuCoin. So whatever thing you want to do with KuCoin has to be inside KuCoin account. So that having been said, we are move with me right now as I demonstrate it practically to you. So the first step will be to log into your KuCoin account. You can see that I've already logged in. So I'm showing you. So on your dashboard, click on more. Okay. And now under assets can you see assets you click p2p so i click p2p and it will take us straight to this section you can see so many other assets that you can buy usdt btc eth kcs usdc pass but we are buying usdt because that is what we need so all these people that you are seeing in this place, they are the peers that you are to buy USDT from. They are called merchants. I said that before. So I can choose any one of them. You can see so many of the names here, how much they are buying. And there is something beautiful that I want every one of you here to notice. I want you to notice that you can even buy as little as with 100 Naira or even 500 Naira. You can use 500 Naira to buy USDT from KuCoin. Is that not amazing? Is that not amazing? So you have no excuse for you to say that you don't have any money for you to choose any asset of your choice. No. And this is 
possible only with KuCoin. So you can use as little as 1,000 Naira, you can use as little as 2,000 Naira. I'm talking about people who are in Nigeria. So if you are in other countries, you can also use a very little amount, depending the currency that you're using, to do the same. Okay? So right now, I'll be choosing the client, the, the merchant named... Um, what exactly am I looking out for? I'm looking out for someone... Who has done a lot of orders you can see this guy panda s he has done a lot of orders as you can see he has 14,561 orders and his rating is about 99.65 percent that's a good one and you but you can buy within 10,000 to 2 million so i want to buy like 7,000 naira watts of usdt so i will check digital one now you can see digital one he also has a very good record he has about how many stars he has orders 9724 orders so he's a good merchant too and he has 98.04 percent that's a good one and the limit that you can buy from his own is 500 naira to 1.5 million so i want to buy my 7000 naira worth of usdt so what do i do what I do is to click buy. Good. Now it's taking me to this section. And I can see that he's selling at um, a USDT as 596. 596. So you see the question here. How many USDT do you want to buy? I will click. I want to buy USDT what? In Nigerian Naira that should be 7,000 and then the, the the USDT equivalent will automatically appear what you're seeing here is $11 call it 11 points eleven dollars 74 cents or thereabout so what is the next thing to do you click buy now so I've clicked buy now. So the account details of the merchant will appear. Okay. And the here instruction says complete the payment within 29 minutes. It's counting down. So it's expected. Make sure that you don't come to this section to click buy now when you are not ready to do the transfer. When you are not ready to buy okay so since we are here it's assumed that i have done the purchase actually i have done it or before now so i i simply pick the bank account the details of the the merchant and then i've transferred to the merchant and once i am done with the transfer that is payment to the merchant I will come back to this section to click I have paid that is it that is all you have to do I will just come there to click I have paid okay and um, I will get uh, a notification an SMS notification from KuCoin to tell me that the $11.74 or thereabout has been released to my main wallet main wallet account to the main account okay but for the purpose of this uh, uh video that is why i decided to click buy now so i'm gonna cancel the order but it's usually not encouraging for you to be canceling orders if you cancel your order within um if you do if you cancel your order up to two times or three times then your account will be blocked until you give good reason why the others have to be cancelled so this is not a joke you can only click buy now when you are serious to buy now so i'm gonna click cancel order okay i only did this so that you guys my lovely viewers will understand how it has it has to be done okay so i click cancel okay Oh, the funds will not be refunded if you cancel the order. If you have completed the payment, please do not cancel the order. I confirm that I did not pay to the seller.
confirm so i didn't pay to the seller order cancelled so i'm going back so now i have received notification from kucoin that the payment the eleven dollars seventy seven seven or 75 cents has been released so you go to your wallet on the assets so I'm in the, the front page of the dashboard you click this asset you can see that click assets good good I am now at the asset you can see the main you have trading you have margin you have futures we have finance so the asset has been released to the main wallet account to the main account so this is the wallet eleven dollars seventy four seven four six nine three seven usdt is available right now hmm? okay so you can see that now how do we complete our p2p trading how do we do that you have to click transfer can you see we have to move can you see the word transfer you have to move the USDT that you have purchased from the main account to the trading account. It's only from the trading account that it will be possible for you to pick the particular asset of your choice to purchase. So I will move, I'll click transfer. I've clicked transfer. Do you remember what we paid for? We bought USDT. So you can see the USDT here. Then I will touch USDT. Are you moving with me? Okay. Now, can you see from, from main account to trading account? That's it. So I want to move the money, the USDT that is available. You can see available, available USDT, 11.7 cent. And if I want to move some fraction of it, here I can type, I want to move five. And then here we'll say confirm. But assuming I want to move all the available USDT that I just purchased, all you need to do is to click this all button. Touch the all button. You can see every single um, USDT that you've just purchased will be here. It will appear on this section and then you click confirm. Beautiful. Do you notice that it has now moved? The USDT is no longer on the main account. It has moved to the trading account. So, have you seen that? Have you seen it? If you have done this, if you have successfully done this with me, if you are moving step by step, and that you understand what I have just done right now, type yes or type 111 so that I will know that you followed through. Type 111 so that I will know that you followed through. I really don't want this video to be a very long one, so I'm gonna divide it into two. So I'll be stopping here for today. But just notice that in today's video, we have successfully done our P2P trading. You have successfully purchased your $11.74. And we successfully moved it from the main account to the trading account. Now the money is in the trading account. Watch out for my next video still on P2P trading where I will be showing you step by step on how to buy any asset of your choice. For instance, on that very day, we will be buying KCS, that is KuCoin coin. We'll be buying KuCoin coin. So remember to click the notification bell so that when I publish the next video, you will see it and know how to complete this, your P2P, your P2P, trading okay remember to subscribe remember to like and share i have so many of you my lovely viewers always asking me pleading i should keep doing these i really thank you for all your inspirational 
talk. I really thank you for your comments because they encourage me to keep moving on. You know, I have to dissect these information in a very simplified form so that everybody in Africa, especially Nigerians, wherever you are, you will be able to understand what to do and how to do it. If you still have any question, still drop it on the comment section or send me a chat on the WhatsApp. I remain your presenter, Jenny Chichi. I'll be signing up for today. Bye for now.